It is cold outside. But alas, this is the beginning of 2023. What's up guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all in the beautiful oh! Hey this. With that, my But they also have creatures from the Ice Age as well. <laughs> this place. If I wanted to see Superman to make me feel better, I put them. Now they've got these light fixtures, so. Huh. Full view. Oh, so it's not the skinny one you, you no, say? No, Batman squeeze is tighter. So I think I'm probably gonna put him back now. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a part of the original drainage. Although I think standing here is just as crazy as getting married. Yeah, that thing probably stands other models. They were super, super heavy. Or another train were to ever get back on one of these old It is said that at certain times at the, uh, the Little River Railroad Museum in... I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit worn out. I like how this is just... Oh no! Old destination goodness. Damaged. So kind of an interesting cultural thing. It's one of those days that I really wish I had brought my magnet, fishing magnet. This was the last Lincoln Continental that Elvis Presley ever purchased. He was an absolute genius. I don't even think he realized it. For the men who that were coming back, the dead, that no, they were not digging this thing out. Just look. Twenty-three was quite a ride. Isn't that right, Patch? Yeah. Yeah, you guys, in 2023, probably one of the things that has happened to me that I probably wasn't expecting is I became a cat dad. Yes. Isn't that right, Patch? But anyway, you guys, as I'm petting Patch, um... This is my 2023 year in review. Everything that has gone on this year, everything that I am talk going to talk about, some of the things that I probably should have talked about later on in the year, and I don't know where she's disappeared off to. But anyway, I guess that means I'm a bad cat dad. But that's not the point, you guys. Um, but anyway, 2023 has been quite a year. Uh, some of the things I want to talk about tonight. Um, I want to talk about some of the stuff that I've seen in my comments. I want to talk about my videos, the top 10 videos that did well this year that were made in this year alone. Um, other than that, I mean, 2023 is was pretty good. By the way, if you all did not see, I'm not sure if I broadcasted enough on my channel, but um, last year, I did start a second channel called DPM Gaming. If you all haven't checked it out, I suggest you all check it. I'll put, in the, I'll put it in the link below. But anyway, DPM Gaming was, is a channel that um, I focused on like with trading cards, like Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Stuff from my childhood that I really wanted to see take root because I always wanted to start a channel like that and in 2023 I did and today guys as of the recording of this video I have gotten 186 subscribers on my second channel I feel pretty proud when I first started dream poet dream poet gosh I mean it stayed at like 120 subscribers for like two years and I have really had to grind to finally get it get it going and by the way i'm also shooting from a gopro hero 10 now everything is in 4k i can give clearer videos to you guys and i know probably my hair does not help 
that much. Actually, today I was out in the woods filming for 2024 in the 2024 uh, season. I got a lot of cool videos that are coming out this year, you guys. Last year was awesome, but this year is also going to be pretty freaking sweet. Sorry, I'm just afraid that Patch is going to... Uh, sorry. Being a cat dad is very interesting. But having said that, also some other news that I want to talk to you guys about in my year in review video is this 2024. I have a third channel coming out. And no, this isn't a bad idea. And I swear I will not do every video from here on out every single year. That's kind of a bad idea. But this third channel that's going to be happening going to be releasing it first of the year it is going to be called what the chet and what the chet is going to be a channel of stuff that i can't normally do here on dream poet you know dream poet i usually go to these abandoned locations these places that are out of the way roadside attractions places that you would not think to exist in america but somehow they do dp or not dp um what the Chet is going to focus around more relaxed material. Uh, some of the things that I have in store for you guys is I have a Lego building video. I, I got, I won't say what Lego that I got or what set. It's a pretty big set and I can't wait to show it off to you guys in the process how I made it. Also some other stuff here on uh, Dream Poet you saw me earlier this summer talking about a uh, miniature roadside attraction that I have been working on. That will also be going to What the Chet. Got a few other things. Stuff, I mean, really, What the Chet will be is just me occasionally also venting some stuff I'd like to talk about, story time vlogs, stuff that, you know, if you watch the other early days of my channel, you all will know. I'm, I'm trying to sort out and organize different material just because I like making it. But having said that, and the other ideas that have been on the table, like I said, subscribe to both of them, you guys. It always means a lot. But this year, I want to bring up the first few things that I want to talk about, even though we've already talked about a lot. I want to give a big thank you to those who gave me uh, my super chats this year I finally got my first two super chats one of them was five dollars and one of them was twenty dollars I thank you guys so much that means my channel is going places and I really appreciate it and hopefully probably within February if you all are interested once I hit 7,000 subscribers, which should be around then, I will have a cameo set up to where you can pay me to give you all some really wonderful birthday wishes, family celebrations, weddings. I will gladly make a video for you guys, and trust me, it'll be well worth it. But anyway, it keeps the channel going. Um... I thought probably once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll probably maybe try to st start some doing some advertising, but I don't know yet. But anyway, guys, having talked about that, um, this year, surprisingly, I had my first little bouts of controversy. Like, that is just so weird to have controversy on my channel. Luckily, it wasn't anything terribly bad. Um... The first one was, of course, um, earlier on in the summer, around May, I made the, uh, the decision to stop making videos in Cleveland, Tennessee, in my hometown, mainly because I just felt like the name of Paul Huff, who is a Medal of Honor recipient, his name was not being respected. And uh, I might make a video later on in the year to show you all what I'm talking about. But it also kind of dealt with the bullying and whatnot, um, which I really hate. It is unfortunate, but um, I mean, that's just the process of my channel. You know, I, I hate it, but um, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll come back to it. 
that was the first thing that has happened this year. Now the second thing, um, I kind of kept it under wraps. I really didn't talk about it just because I felt like it was just somebody trying to, it was just somebody who was irate and who was just trying to make, I won't say a fool, but make something of themselves. And earlier in my haunt season series, my haunt season series, I um, I went to the haunted South Pittsburgh Hospital, the outside, like the parking lot, and I just talked about my experience there many, many, well, I won't say many, many years ago, about six years ago, seven years ago, and somebody saw it, and their main argument was there was a lot of false information that I had given. They threatened to take down my channel. They threat or. They threatened to send my video to the cops that I had been trespassing. Um, it was just a lot of hoopla and just as somebody, hello kitty, just as somebody who likes to keep things clean, I, I just kind of deleted the messages, blocked the people because legally I had not done anything wrong. And anyway, legally, yeah, my kitty, legally I still haven't done anything wrong. Um, which leads me to this. Yeah, my Patch Patch. I guess she doesn't want to be in the vlog. Isn't that right, Kitty? Yeah, or maybe she just wants to go out. But another thing that I'd like to talk about this year, um, as you all saw, I had my Fascinating People and Extraordinary Stories um, podcast uh, interview series that I had. Um, I stopped that around May, and with good reason, um, in June, which wasn't that far off, I had lost my job at, um, at Take 5, Take 5 will change, um, I will just say I feel, well, I was wrongly, uh, wrongly terminated, I'll just leave it at that, wrongly terminated, and I don't want to get into too much of it, but, um, Anyway, I just lost the ability to keep paying for StreamYard, and eventually they just terminated my account, and I haven't been able to do anything since. But, to give you all some excitement, for those of you who liked listening to my podcast series, I'm going to do something similar. I am going to use YouTube Live, like a live feed, and I'm just going to talk about some of the stuff just to be in touch with you guys. I know a lot of you guys love watching my videos and it means a lot to me. But uh, having said that, let's get into my top 10 videos from this year that have done extremely well. The first one, hold up. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, if you have as much stuff in your noggin as I do, it's kind of hard to, um, Patch doesn't want, anyway, one second, let me pull up my top 10 videos and it should be right in here. And... go here okay here we go let's get started with my top 10 vlogs of 2023 and the first one at number 10 is my ancient Indians believe this was an entrance to the underworld now this was something that I had filmed earlier on in my uh, Native American heritage series uh, that I do every month. Uh, well, I won't say every month. This was the second year doing it. But uh, anyway, I like to focus on Native American history, and this was one of them that did really well. And that is, um, it's at a, um, a state park in the state of Tennessee. And anyway, it's a big, giant cave. And in the cave, which is actually a sinkhole as well, uh, an old sinkhole, they found um, artifacts. And artifacts, um, 
petroglyphs, what have you, and it went like all the way down into the cave. But the petroglyphs are so fragile that you need permission. Darn it, kitty. Yes, Patch knocked over the camera. Isn't that right, Miss Patch? But that's number 10. Going on to the number 9 spot. And maybe the best thing would be to put it right here and not here. Anyway, number 9 on the list is the Lighthouses of Tennessee. Now, the Lighthouses of Tennessee, that was actually the first video that I did in uh, 2023. Just because I do not think that many people knew that Tennessee has lighthouses, depending on their functionality. But yes, we do have them. And what are you doing, oh, little Patch? Maybe I should try to teach Patch how to go on some of these adventures with me. Yeah. But anyway, the Lighthouses of Tennessee, it was a really cool experience. One of them I had to drive two and a half hours out to West Tennessee to get to. And it was worth it. I can't say enough that I ever thought that I would ever see lighthouses in my home state. You know, it's something that you typically see with coastal states. Yeah, Patch. But anyway, going on to number eight of my top 10 most viewed videos of 2023 is Exploring the Ghost Town in the Sky. Now, a ghost town in the sky, if you are from my area of the United States, East Tennessee, Western North Carolina, then you all will know Ghost Town in the Sky at one point was, was on par with Dollywood. Like, they could go neck and neck. However, it did shut down in the early 2000s. It did open up very briefly. And it's had some controversy since then. But, um, anyway, I went up there. It was a lot of fun. Um, I was not expecting to see as much as I thought I would from the stuff that's, uh, just simply down at the base. Like, finding the train, for example, that has just been sitting there, I just find very, very interesting. Or... Also, the incline cars that used to go up to the mountainside. I think that was something that I just was not expecting to see. I just was not expecting to see. <laughs> anyway, being a cat dad is wonderful. But anyway, it was a wonderful experience. And plus that day, I went to like four different locations. And it's just awesome to see old school Americana that's still there i really hope that one day they open ghost town in the sky again because i think it still has the potential there's just some stuff that needs to be done on it what are you doing kitty but anyway on to number seven and that is this site is where tennessee state artifacts were found now this one Again, it comes from my Native American Heritage Month series. I drove all the way out to Middle Tennessee, and the, well, anyway, it's four different statues that were found on this particular site. And, well, two of the statues, which are the state artifacts, they, um, two of them were supposed to be at the University of Tennessee's McClung Museum. But they were not there. I think I got a lot of comments sent from people saying that they weren't too happy with that. What are you doing, kitty? I think she wants to. But anyway, I think she wants to be let out. But anyway, Patch, you said you wanted to help. The, you wanted to help me make a video, kitty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Onward to number six. Number six, I made this over the summer. It had been a place that I've been wanting to make for a while now. And that was Corpsewood Manor. I guess she's onward to better things. Is Corpsewood Manor. Now that one 
it is really well known within the uh, the true crime the true crime world um, it's not far from where my hometown is so I just eventually ma made the trip down there and it was worth it um, a, the, a lot of the building that well a lot of the building is still there I mean a lot of it is foundation but honestly, if you put in the right amount of work and effort, you could probably rebuild it. But uh, if you all don't know the story behind it, it was a uh, it was it was a uh, worship or a well, he called himself a satanic worship worshiper, but he did not really align with what we believe is Satanism. He liked the freedom that was behind it. He um, he was gay. And he had a gay lover, and of course they were murdered, and, uh, well, they were unalived. There we go. YouTube doesn't like it when I say that word. I try to keep things PG-related. PG but onward to number five. Matt is two sides of the Elkmont ghost town. Now, Elkmont, I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of at least one point in their lives in the East Tennessee area. It was a wealthy resort town that eventually, once the federal government took over and turned it into this Great Smoky Mountains National Park, all of that was swallowed up. And the issue there was that Register, or the National Registry of Historic Sites wanted to preserve the buildings while the National Park Service said, we just want to let these things rot and go to waste. And that put things in quite a predicament until, well, about 2016, 2017. They decided to come to an agreement and some of the buildings have been saved. Now, in my video, if you have seen it already, you will see the buildings that they tore down versus the buildings they renovated. And it's so weird to see it's two sides of the same coin. Like, you have one side that is desolate, it's becoming forgotten, not much is there, but you go down just a couple of blocks and you will see that all of Daisy Town is saved. So it's very interesting to see how two sides of the government and two government entities play into such an interesting, such an interesting situation. But onward to the next. And I think where this is number four. And that is my dog man of land between the lakes. This one is currently sitting at 5,100 views. And I don't really understand it. I don't really understand it because when I made the video, I, um... I made one video that had an audio defic or an audio problem in it, an audio glitch. So I put it out again. And it's like this one, the one that does not have the correct audio is sitting at 51 or 51 20 or 5120 views. But the one that's fixed is like 1200. So talk about the odds of that happening. But it was a fun experience. But that was a save. She did not knock it over that time. But anyway, through the power of editing, I'll just keep showing you all what I've been working on. Okay, maybe not. But anyway, that was a fun video. I got to see a lot of stuff that summer because through you guys and lo the love of watching my videos, I was able to pay for that trip going out west. Well, not really so much Western Tennessee. There, will, well, there we go. I went out to Western Tennessee and Kentucky. And yes, Patch. Yes. Sniff the camera. But anyway, before I get to anything else, let's go to number three. And that is the abandoned Raccoon Mountain Alpine Slide and Forgotten Roadside Store. This one was at, I mean, this one... There is a bit of personal regret within this one. You see, in the beginning of the video, I went to the Incline Railway, and I was filming some of the stuff that, uh, there is one spot, uh, my friend Andy from Andy's Journey talked about it a little, where you can drive underneath the Incline Railcars as they're going up the mountain. 
Well, I was trying to find an area where it's a halfway point. You can get there and the incline car will stop for you and it will take you to the top. Well, I took the wrong road. It was a one lane road. I got stuck. And well, I'll just say I gave myself a fender bender. Yeah, not fun, not fun. I still, one of these days I will fix my car. I mean, just for that part, it's only like maybe $95. But yeah, you live, you learn. But some of the stuff that I went to that day is uh, while I went to a Raccoon, or well, I went to a ra the Raccoon Mountain Alpine Slide. By the way, it's an old school piece of Americana. It's similar to the slides that you see in Uber Gatlinburg. Very similar. And actually, this one was the first one. <laughs> but anyway, also found a train, well, an old, I won't say it was a train, well, an abandoned train tunnel. I'll probably make a, a video on it. I know my friend Andy has, but anyway, let's go on to number two. And number two is probably one that I like talking about just because even though I explained that it was not my best video and one day I will go back and do another video on it, I still had people tell me how horribly awful my video was, but Anyway, you live, you learn. I know I can't change a person's mind, but that one at sitting at number two of the most, most viewed videos made this year is my deliverance filming locations. Now this one, I mean, I want to go back and make it, like remake it. Uh, when I went out there, I kind of lost out on a few spots. It was rainy, it was nasty. Some of these back trails to get to these uh, these rapids are very dangerous, and I did not want to get my car stuck. I mean, just a lot of things that I wish I had planned on beforehand. And plus, one of the things that admittedly I did is it had been a while since I had seen Deliverance. And I was really going off on, what, on the old memory that I had and what I read on Wikipedia. I thought that would be enough, but apparently there are some things that I missed, which regrettably it says sit at 10,000 or 10,000 views. I'm happy about that, but I'm not happy that I could have done better. So anyway, that one will be another one for another day, admittedly. But the number one most viewed video is well actually this one was recommended to me by my friend Patrick from Famous Five Amos he's actually recommended or he's actually helping me with another location as of the recording of this video but anyway in my near my hometown um, you have um, well pardon me um, course, the Cherokee National Forest, and in the Cherokee National Forest, you have the Chilhowee Campground. On the Chilhowee Campground, there is a lake called Lake McCammy. Now, the National Forestry Service, over the winter, they decided that they had to fix the dam that controls all the water and stuff, so what they did is they drained it. And anyway, in the process, I had so many people watch this video like from the day I put it out it went from just only a couple of views all the way up to its current viewing at like 117,000 views so that's pretty incredible but I think that's really what all I wanted to talk about this year some of the controversies it's been a good year um, I have no complaints actually um, that's not really so much of a complaint um, my grandfather actually did pass away as of the recording of this video today. So, for those of you who, you know, different beliefs, I mean, if you share the same, you know, if you are people of faith, you know, just keep my family in your thoughts and your prayers, you know, or, as they say, send the love, I suppose you could say. Um, he was a good man. He was a very good man. But anyway, guys, Happy New Year. I hope you all enjoyed the intro to this video. That was fun putting together. Anyway, guys, I love you all very much. Let's get to 2024. 
Happy New Year. Of an Imperial uh, fighter station. It was made out of, uh, if you can notice this, I'm like 5'9". Inside it. I know there's probably not going to be. So we got some new songs, some new things coming this year. Look at all those butterflies. This is 90s, early 2000s Superman. Point, or I think they still do. Uh, oh, yes. That, what were you saying, Lily, about the... That monsters and beasts still exist, roam the wild. <sighs> With good reason. What did these people see? ever get to a true dinosaur of a theme park but just think uphill many many thousand er. anyway i think it was discovered <laughs> so imagine it's reminiscent of how ghost town in the color Flashing like some sort of wild animal. Down from the TNT area, going as or going as fast. Granted. Don't move, everyone. Stay perfectly Because that would be really, really cool. I am France. French. Ho ho ho. As long as this is the rail line that gets used more often. The hill. And here we are. Beneath the unkind rail car. Building in an old dream. Just to give you all an idea of how this. Here we go. Okay if it wobbles this way, you just yeah. don't want to get a wheelie. Let's check out the internal side to it. Oh! Look at this. <laughs> it's such an awesome Christmas tree. By the way, this was the mainstay of the park for a really long time. <sighs> Not a whole lot. It almost looks like someone's been burning something here. But uh, I like how. For then a dinky line locomotive. 